Hey loves, welcome back to Vitamin D TV. If you guys are new, my name is Dana. Um, today we're gonna talk about some reasons to learn another language. Cause I don't like the fact that in the United States, only one out of four people is bilingual. That's crazy. Other countries, the ratio, it's like two, three out of four people speak another language. So I don't really like the, the whole, like, uh, United States, we slacking. So I'm gonna just get right into it. The first thing, the first reason you would wanna learn another target language is like the obvious. You set yourself aside from the rest. You know, you set yourself aside from the rest when it comes to business. You set yourself aside from the rest when it comes to family situation and with friends. Like, it's good to stand out. <laughs> it's good to stand out. You were born to stand out, not fit in. So you stand out from the rest, especially when it comes to business. Like you have a higher chance of getting hired for whatever it is that you do if you're bilingual, because obviously you can communicate with way more people than a monolingual person can. Like that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm like, have a goal in mind to have eight languages down before I hit a certain age like you get to talk you can communicate with way more people and that opens way more opportunities for you okay so you set yourself aside from the rest um your friends are gonna know you as that person they can go to when they need translations for something and when they talk to you when they talk about you to one of their other friends or if they're introducing you to someone else one of the first things they're going to mention is the fact that you can speak another language or that you can speak five languages or whatever. Um, so that's number one. Number two is you can increase your current skill set, which pretty much kind of goes hand in hand with the last thing I just said. Um, if you increase your current skill set, you have more opportunities. One of the miss, one of the hugely miss. I don't even know the word, but one of the huge misunderstandings that we have, especially as young people, is that we get paid for our time. We don't get paid for our time. We get paid for our value and we get paid for what we put in the time. And I learned that from Jake Ducey. If you guys don't know him, he's like a motivational speaker. He is a author, best-selling author, and he has so many YouTube videos that have helped change my thinking and my mindset. And if you guys don't know about him, you need to know about him. Watch his videos. Jake Ducey, D-U-C-E-Y. Check out his videos. He definitely, definitely helps. Um, yeah. So you increase your current skill set. You increase your value. Companies want to know how valuable are you. A lot of people, and I come from retail, so I'm not coming for you, but a lot of people can fold clothes. Pretty much almost anybody can fold clothes, okay? So, of course, since anybody can fold clothes, of course, it's the average person is only gonna get paid eight to ten dollars for doing that but if you can fold clothes and help make a sale to five different other cultures of people than what other people can talk to you can guarantee that your pay is going to be higher or you can demand that your pay be higher and if they don't want to give it to you you can walk away all right so you increase your current skill set all right number three a lot of people also have very low self-esteem. They have low self-confidence. So you want to increase your confidence in yourself. Prove to yourself that you can do it and learn another language. You feel so good when you learn another target language because it's something that you know that you know you started from the bottom and you worked your way up and you worked hard to get to the level that you're at and you feel good about it. And you should. So if you want to increase your self-confidence, your, your, your self-worth, if you would, Learn another language, especially if it's like Chinese or something. Heck yeah, your confidence is going to boost. You know how many people know Chinese? That's not the easiest language to learn. Technically, Romance languages are way easier than Asian languages. So you'll definitely increase your self-worth and your self-confidence if you learn another type of language, even if it's not something Asian, you know? Um, next, which is like my last, my last point you can help the next person life is not just about me like yes you are the center of your universe you are you are the center of your universe okay however 
you everybody you were put on this earth to serve other people and that's why a lot of people are that's why well not everybody will but that's why for example steve jobs died a millionaire or a billionaire if you would he created value for so many freaking people he has served and he has helped so many people with the technology that he created and that's why millionaires become millionaires they're helping millions and they're helping so many other people than the average person does so if you want to help other people and help yourself at the same time help them when they need help when they can't understand what's being said to them or when they need to say something but they don't know how to say it especially if you work in a multicultural setting start by helping other people you know um and when you help other people you don't know what where that can go you don't know who they are, where they come from, or how important they are in the field of study or the field of work that they are in. You never know. So network, <laughs> pretty much. You can network. You can network. Do that and you can do that in another language. And you want to make sure that your skills is up there when you're ready to network because you never know the person you're going to run into. There's been several occasions where I have sat down French and I didn't want to learn anymore and I just put it to the side because I was practicing some other language and life showed me that I needed to learn French. Like right now I'm currently wishing that I learned Italian two years ago when I started because I just started another job with really, really rich Italians and I don't know Italian and now I'm like shit I gotta learn I gotta learn really fast so yeah if you want to increase your current skill set if you want to set yourself aside from the rest if you want to help others at the same time that you help yourself learn another language so that's pretty much it guys if you like this video like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think um and let me know like your story of how you've helped somebody else by learning their language you know let me know what you guys think so that's it for all you guys i will see you guys soon